Independent Stamping Up Demonstrator, Halsey here from slimandstylish.com. Thank you very much for joining me today. Hope you're okay. I'm just popping my stream onto my iPad so that I can see all your comments. Let me know when you're here. Say hello. Gosh, it's a hot day today. According to the news, it's the hottest day of the year in my area. And oh, I tell you, it is really warm. I've been bowling this morning and the top of my head, just by my fringe line, is uh, absolutely red. <laughs> so, uh, hi, Colleen. Hope you're okay. Hi, Karen. Lovely to see you. So today I'm making a, um, a box. This is a slimline box. It is a sort of rectangle cube. So it's one and a half inches by one and a half inches. But it's quite a handy size. And I actually took inspiration of this from my upline, Sam at pooples.co.uk. So um, Sam had done one, it was slightly smaller, but it did have a lip like this. So rather than it going inside the box like that, she kept it outside and she put a belly band on it. And I really like that. So I decided to do the same. So hats off to Sam for her inspiration. So it's got like a little flap, so it looks like it's open. And then you just pop the bobby band around it. It does does go on, because obviously I had it on when we first started. I'm just saying I'm hot and it's fiddly. There we go. Told you it goes on. <laughs> there we are. Hiya, Sarah. Hope you're okay. So it's really, really simple to make. Really, really quick, which uh, needed to be my uh, my idea for the craft room today, purely because... It is really hot and whenever I do my lives and whenever I do my crafting, I always have quite a few lights on. So I'm just going to pop those on now. I'd left it till the very last moment to put them on. Um, purely because it makes my craft room even warmer than it already is. So hopefully you can see it quite clearly. Right, let's get started. I'm using the Sweet as a Peach Photopolymer stamp set. I love this, by the way. I'm very sorry um, to anyone who is a subscriber on my channel who doesn't like this, because for the last sort of five weeks has been a Sweet as a Peach project every week. I love it. Really, really happy with that stamp set. I'm also using the Biggest Wish because I love this lettering that they've got going on in there. So that's that hello just there. And then I've got the Coordinating Peach dies. And I'm using these because of these tiny little flowers here. So often when I buy dies, I normally look at what the big dies are. I never really look at what the little detail dies are. Look at these. Aren't they just the cutest? So uh, I've used those for this, this piece. Okay, this one was made in Calypso Coral and I was using this DSP. It is double-sided. So it has these lovely little flowers on the back. For the one I'm going to make today, I'm going to be using Pear Pizzazz and I'm using this DSP here. So they're all from the Sweet as a Peach set um, and they just all really work well together. So I'm going to use this, the Pear Pizzazz one. Okay, so I've got Pear Pizzazz ink on my table as well. Let's get going. Who's crafting along with us? If you are crafting along and you make one of the projects, please do head over to Slim and Stylish's Crafty Hangout on Facebook. Um, lovely Karen, who's on the uh, on the call, Tilly Crafts. Karen has uh, set up an album for this project, so you can just go along and pop your projects in it as well. Okay, for those over in the States, what I've actually done is I have cut my paper down to 11 inches. So I know your cardstock is shorter than mine, so I've cut it at 11, so it'll be right for you, right for us. And then you need to cut yours as well, so it's narrower, and I'll tell you that as we go through. Okay, so at 11 inches, you want it to be the short side at the top, and you want to score it at one. I said it was one and a half all the way through, didn't I? But uh, yeah, it is one and a half. Shouldn't have doubted myself. I was looking at the one and three quarters thinking, did I do it that? But here was my first box that I was making this morning. It was a bit bigger, so I'm trying to remember which one 
I made. So it's one and a half inches you want to score and you want to do that four times. So at one and a half, at three, at four and a half, and at six. And then you want to cut it at six and three quarters. So this is using the cut rather than the score. Okay, so one and a half, th three, four and a half, six, and then cut it at six and three quarters. You're so good to us across the pond. Take good care of our dear friend. Yes, he's over here, isn't he? He's meeting our queen. I saw that um, your first lady was teaching at a school down in Cornwall this week. Well, she, um, the school had had her in. Apparently she's a school teacher anyway. I didn't realise that. Um, but yes, my mum was loving it because she obviously used to work in a school and I just thought that it looked really cute. She was with Kate. I like Kate. Um, yeah, they're, they're, they're down there. And I'll tell you what, we've got some gorgeous weather for them. I hope they're enjoying it. So I'm just going to turn this now and on the long side, so on this 11 inch side, I'm just going to score it at one and a half inches. Turn it round and score it again at one and a half inches. Hello, Louise. Hope you're all right. Thanks for joining. And then you just want to pop your, your trimmer away. The rest of it can pretty much be done with, uh, with snips and your bone folder. So I've done something um, quite fun, actually. It shows how, how excited I get about things. My bone folders, I love them. And I've used them for ages and they're all marked and dirty and everything else. So this week, um, an order arrived. And the most excited thing about the whole order I was, was I bought myself a new clean bone folder. Shows how excited I get about things. But look how nice and clean it is. And they've changed the logos on them. But yeah. Thing is, is I'm not 100% sure about using it now because it's too clean to use. So, uh, right. You want to just start folding and burnishing along all of these lines, all in the same direction. We're not doing any concertina in today. It's a simple project. I can't think in the heat. Louise, my sweet as a peach bundle is arriving tomorrow. I can't wait to start creating. Oh, it's a lovely, lovely bundle. Trust me, you won't be disappointed with it. It's gorgeous. Um, I ordered it because I liked it, but I wasn't expecting to like it as much as I have. And I just haven't stopped creating with it. Even the flowers on it, you don't even have to use the peaches. It's a really good one. Right, so once you've done that. Now, this is a bit different. So normally when we create boxes, I would normally say to put the glue along this bit and bring it in like that. But because this box opens at the top there, you've actually got a slight bit more cutting to do. So let me just show you how to do that. Let me snips. Colleen, I love your excitement about a new tool. Isn't that true? You hate to use your new... Yes! I found that whenever I'm crafting for myself, not on video, I keep going back to the old dirty ones. They don't mark my paper, you know, but they, they look a bit sort of dirty because I don't want to damage the new pretty one. <laughs> Definitely like that. Right, so you just want to pop just a slight notch in there and then you want to cut out each of the score marks. So what I mean by cutting them out is just cut yourself a little tiny triangle like that along the crease. So you, you can barely see, but it is just slightly in. Hi, Alison. Hope you're okay. Hiya, Cindy. Oh, have you got rain there? We're, um, we're very blessed at the moment. We've got some lovely weather. Lovely, lovely. I was crafting yesterday. I was trying to catch up on some videos so that I could get them onto my site and get them all scheduled. But the weather was just so lovely that I gave my mum a call. Um, and I live on a canal here. And I was like, should we just go for a little walk up the canal? There's a pub that's about two and a half miles up the canal. So I was like, let's go up there. 
and we can have a drink outside and we can walk back and it was just a lovely, lovely day. I missed my crafting, but we never normally have really nice weather. So when we do, you've got to make the most of it, right? Okay, so this is the same as what we do for normal boxes, just this notching in and you want to do it all the way around. Okay, and then once you've done that, turn it towards you and you've got this little flap here. Okay, so where that little flap is, this bit here, these two tabs, the two that are nearest the flap, you want to take both of these two off. So if you can see when you open the box, I've took them off on both sides, so you just want to snip those off. Karen, are you crafting? Look at what Louise has just said. Louise, that's a me. So myself and Karen quite often have a little bit of a joke. Whereas I buy all our lovely 12 by 12s. I have it on my 12 by 12 stand behind me. And I don't like cutting it. I look at it and I stroke it and it's just too pretty. And I, I very rarely um, cut all my 12 by 12s and at the end of the catalogues I still have loads of them left and they're just pretty to look at. Karen, Karen snips them all down as soon as she's got it. She doesn't understand why I look at it. But yes, I know the feeling. There is a website actually, I found it this week. I tell you what, I'll go to Slim and Stylish's Crafty Hangout afterwards and I'll post a link. It'd be really helpful for everyone. You can pop in the measurement size you have of a piece of paper and it will tell you how to cut it to get the best out of the paper. Really, really useful. Louise, I feel that you're you're gonna like that. So um, I will post that. If you go to Slim and Stylish Crafty Hangout over on Facebook, I will pop the link in the group so you can see it. Okay. So what you want to do now is you want to put your box together and you want this one here, so this one that's not got the flap, that's gonna be the last bit you put together, okay? So you want to stick that one down onto that. And then this one here, this is the last bit you put on so that the flaps close at the back and you have the join at the back and not at the front, okay? So first of all, I'm just gonna put my adhesive on those two flaps. Okay, so it's those ones I'm putting it on. Bending them in and pulling this one up. Okay, so it looks like an open box. And then you want to take this one and stick those around like that as a wrap and that will give you the perfect shape for your box. And it will also have all the closures towards the back so you can't see them from the front. Okay, then it's really up to you. So you, you can decide how you want your box to be whether you actually want to have that lip on it, like I was telling you about before, or whether you want to push it inside and have it closed. You can do either way from that, really up to you. Okay, so then you just want your belly band to go around it. So your DSP, work out which way you want to cut it. So I feel that these blobs look like they're up, down that way rather than across. So I'm gonna cut it that way. Up to you which way you choose. Here's the painful bit, by the way, Louise. You want to cut it all the way down at four inches.
<laughs> Karen said the best way to start is by cutting half of the pack so you have half it 12 by 12 and that way it doesn't hurt as much when you come to cut it. Still feel it's going to be painful. Especially the pretty foils. The pretty foils that we have in the... Um, I can't even remember what pack it is. It, it is. Is it the Elegantly Said? They're just too pretty. Just too pretty. So, the way I make my belly bands is I don't actually do any measurements on them. Uh, half the time, because I make my projects wrong and can't remember the measurements. So what I do is you want to have it so that the closure is at the top in that direction. Okay, so start from the back, put this about halfway, and then work out where the fold is. And fold your DSP. Okay, like that. Then you want to do it again to this bit. It's always better to bring the DSP around your project rather than measure it yourself with your, your scoring tool. Because if you're just a slight bit out, your belly band's then going to be too tight or too loose. Whereas this way, you know it fits individually to your project. But once you've, once you've pinched it in, and because it's DSP, it won't take... Oh, long to do that really easy then you want to bring it down separately and lay it down so that you know it's still straight so once you stick it down you're not going off on a diagonal okay and then your last one Hiya Carol, how are you? Nice to see you. Okay, so all I'm gonna do now is fold that round so I get the, uh, the crease line. Fold it again, just so I know where it is myself. And then I'm just gonna use my snips to cut that line. You can either use your snips or your, uh, you simply scored if you want. If you definitely want to make it straight. I like your kind of crafting, no measurements, just winging it. Oh, do you know what? I'm terrible with measurements. I think I know them in my head and then I just go off in a total tangent. These ladies who who, who watch me quite regularly on a Sunday will know that I just sit here with my ruler again going, what measurement was that? And I've measured it like two seconds before. I am pretty bad with it. So all you want to do now is you want to pop some adhesive along that bit there. So this is the thinner section that was only halfway and then some adhesive along this bit here on the edge and wrap yourself around. You can then get a feel as to whether it's too tight or too loose and whether it's going to work. But yeah. yeah, I'm good too. Thank you, Carol. Can't believe the weekend has gone so quick, but it's been a really nice sunny one, so I feel it's just flown by. Right, to decorate the belly band, you're gonna to want to have a your wing. So you know the wing of your box you cut off? You want that. And your mini stamp emboss, cutting emboss, I can never say that right. Yeah. I'm giving up now with a few of the words. So the words I'm giving up with are basic white because I can't say that. I just go back to whisper white every single time. Um, mango melody, which is really mango medley, but who knew that one? 
There's a few. And in my head, even though I know they seem right, I can't say them right. So just chop those little flowers out. And this is what I mean. Look how cute they are. You see? And as you pull them off, that little hole comes out and you actually just get a little, little flower with a little hole in. So I'm just going to put those down on the side. And I'm putting them down upside down so that when I put my glue dot to them, they're easier to pick up. Okay. I'm also going to do some heat embossing. I know, I told you it was really, really warm and now I'm playing with the, the heat gun. <coughs> Bless me. Hay fever as well. So uh, got it all going against me today. So I'm just going to use my embossing buddy. And my first mark. And I'm using friend with this. So I can show you the stamp set and show you which sentiments are in it. There's some really lovely sentiments. I'm just going to pop the uh, embossing powder on first. So these two sets actually mix really nicely. The biggest wish, as all these thanks, birthday, happy, hello and friend in the two different fonts, but this one here has some really cute ones. So you could have on here um, where you've got thanks or happy birthday, you could mix it with let's celebrate you um, and different things like that. Uh, thanks for being a friend. You've got friend and hello. So I've mixed the two together and got the hello and the friend. Oh, Louise, you've got both these sets arriving tomorrow. You will definitely be uh, set for this project. So I'm just going to grab my heat gun. And I'm just going to heat that up. And for this, also in the peach dies, is this lovely sort of sentiment die. So, just going to pop those in there. And I'm going to line the die up on the, I'm going to turn that round so it, it's kind of anchored in there. and run that through. What things have you put in your box as a treat? Well, actually it's, they're technically not my boxes. So, um, I have a little tortoise as a pet, Squirt, and weekly I buy him a big punnet of blueberries he loves blueberries but he can never eat them all so when his uncle David comes round for dinner Squirt normally puts him a little box on the table full of blueberries for him to eat after his dinner um they'd just go off if it was for Squirt so but we put them in and I will normally make the box and Squirt will put a little note on it saying from Squirt because we're a bit daft and inside are all of his blueberries for his uncle David so uh, There'll be a load of blueberries going into this one for dinner when David comes next week. So I haven't took this all the way to the edge. I should have said that as I was putting it through. I actually chopped this afterwards because I only want the one part of the flag. But what I will show you is look at that sentiment. It embosses it as well as cuts it. How amazing is that? I think it's so pretty. Right. So now you want some Whisper White. And is that my whisper white from earlier? Oh, it wasn't. 
thought that would be the, the right size, all cut and done. So you want to cut your whisper white at one and a quarter of an inch. Oh, I've cut it at the one inch, one and a quarter. I thought that was looking thin. So you want one piece at one and a quarter and one piece at one and three eighths. You want two pieces. Then you want to cut it at two and five, say so the one that's at one and a quarter. You see, it's just gonna sit on top. You see here, I've just got a little bit of a frame behind it. So the one that's one and a quarter, you want to cut at two and three quarters. And the one that is one and three eighths, you want to cut it at two and seven eighths. So there's just a slight little frame around it. Okay. Grab your stamp with your hello and your coordinating colour. Like I said, I'm using pear pizzazz for this one so it matches my card and my DSP. Hi, Ivy! I hope you're okay. So pop your hello on. Oh, so pretty. I do like this stamp. I think it's really lovely. And I love how like bold the um, characters are in it. I'm fine, thank you. Are you all right, lovely? Popping some dimensionals on the back of there and I'm going to stick that onto the slightly bigger piece. And that's going to go onto there like that. So to finish it off, I'm going to grab the friend and pop a little bit of Tombow on the back of that to stick that down. And then I'm just going to pop some Tombow on the back of all of this and get that stuck down as well. Oh, I forgot to cut my tail off. I can do it while it's on the box. It's not a problem. So we are all adhered and tail cut off there we go hello friend <laughs> finally just to finish up I want some glue dots on the back of these three little flowers that we cut out so I just pop them into a little ball on there put them on the back of the flower and then just stick them down it will be tacky through the hole, so there is a hole on those flowers. It will be tacky because the glue dot will come through them, but I'm going to put a rhinestone on the top there, so it really doesn't matter. But if you weren't going to put a rhinestone, you would want to have a look at putting something, because otherwise it will stick to other things. So I'll put one there. And one over on that corner. Do you know I haven't used Purpose House for ages? It's been a really nice change. And the rhinestones... And I'm using these tiddly ones at the uh, at the end. So there we go. What do you think? Finished box. I 
do love these papers. I think they're lovely. Really bright, springy. And there you are. Opens up. Nice size box. Uncle David will be getting lots of blueberries in his. <laughs> and the belly band should just fit back on there. Like that. What do you think? If you do make one, please head over to Slim and Stylish's Crafty Hangout. Like I said, Karen from Tilly Crafts has put a album in there, so you can add yours to there. We'd love to see it. And I will see you all next week. What's your group called again? It's Slim and Stylish is Crafty Hangout, Louise. Um, but if you just... I tell you what, if you, you follow my page on Facebook, Slim and Stylish, I'll put a link in there to the group afterwards and feel free to come along and join. And um, we have albums for each of the projects that I do for lives each week. And if you make one, it's lovely to see what everyone else makes with them. Thanks everyone for joining. I will see you all soon. Have a lovely rest of the weekend. Don't melt too much in the UK. <laughs> Bye.